Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewick channel. So in this video, we will be studying about an antibiotic which is commonly used in field for treating many systemic infections and systemic illness. So the antibiotic is actually amikacin and the brand name of amikacin by TTK Healthcare that is Amin. So it is very common in case of field cases. So we'll be seeing this video. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button. So not for human use. It's restricted to animal treatment only for IM or IV use only. So amikacin is a semi-synthetic amino glycoside which is used to treat many bacterial infections. It is the only agent used to treat gram-negative infections especially caused by pseudomonas species. So this is actually details about amikacin that is amikacin. Yeah, amikin and amiglide are the other brand names. So you can read those things. The adverse effects are mainly nephrotoxicity because amino glycosides will be having side effect uh, nephrotoxicity and autotoxicity and neuromuscular blockade. So this is actually the structure. Pharmacokinetics. The following administration, amikacin is rapidly absorbed and has a rapid onset of action. So the half-life is 2 hours and as rapidly excreted via urine. So class aminoglycosides and acts by irreversibly binding to bacterial 30S ribosomal unit that is protein synthesis inhibitor. So these are pharmacology factions that is they will be binding to 30S ribosomal unit. It is considered as a bactericidal concentration dependent antibiotic. So these are coverage, antibiotic activity and all you can read those things. So resistance. It resists attack by most bacterial inactivating enzymes. So there are many bacterial inactivating enzymes present in the bacteria. So it has a resistance to that enzymes. So safety and toxicity, mainly nephrotoxicity, autotoxicity and neuromuscular blockade are the main problems. So synergistic activity can be obtained by combining it with beta-lactam antibiotics. So indication. So early chick mortality, salmonellosis, foul cholera, infectious coryza, colibacillosis, mixed infection, secondary bacterial infections. These are indications in birds. So cattle, it's actually UTI, RTI, RFM and cough scores. Horses, it's actually reproductive plant infections, respiratory tract infections, neonatal septicemia, pathogenic E. coli infections, etc. So cats and dogs, it's actually septic peritonitis and orthopedic infections. So generally, they are actually used to treat gram-negative infections, also gram-positive infections and mainly pseudomonas infections. So composition, that is each ml will be containing amikacin sulfate 250 milligram, methyl para ben IP and propyl para ben IP, yeah, water protected. Dosage and administration, you can read those things. So side effect mainly nephrotoxicity. So the points, animals should be properly hydrated during the therapy. That is a very important point. Do not use in case of any renal problems and do not use in hypersensitive animals. So presentation, there are actually 30 ml vial, 50 ml vial and 100 ml vial. Mostly 100 ml vial is very famous and is available in market. So the storage will be in cold and dry place. Keep away from sunlight. The travel period for milk is 7 days and meat is 28 days. So marketed by DDK Healthcare Limited, Animal Welfare Division, Chennai Tamil Nadu. So the price or the maximum retail price for 100 ml presentation is 998 so you can see this is the 100 ml rx amikacin injection ip tamic trademark for wet not for human use and for animal treatment only this is the marketer this is the manufacturer manufactured by and marketed by these are things yeah you can see this is expiry date manufacturing day and each ml contains these are the concentration water for injection dosage I am or I use only not more than 10 withdrawals. You have to always remember that. So this is scheduled as prescription drug. So this is amikacin injection 100 ml. Thank you guys.